Stampers, it's Diane with Stamp Therapy, and here's my second critter made with the Fox Builder Punch. So here's our punch, which if you saw yesterday's video, you heard me say how I was really excited to find out it would make other critters besides just foxes. So uh, here is one of the little leopards that was made with this, with all his cute little spots. Let me show you how he's made. So you're going to need a few pieces right from the builder punch. You're going to need the body, the head, the mouth, and the tail all in one color. So that's going to be our yellow that we're going to use here, Daffodil Delight. So it really just cuts out a square piece from here. And then you're going to need a strip of black from which you're going to punch out a number of uh, 1 8 inch circles that are very much like the yellow one. So punch yourself out two yellows for the eyes and a number in black. And you're also going to need a piece of pink. This is pink pirouette. And I've done the two ear insert pieces and the nose from that. And then just a small scrap of whisper white that you can cut a tail out of. Once you've got your pieces punched out, you're going to need to look at your adhesive. Here's the fine tip glue pen. That's what I find works really, really well with the small pieces and putting it together. As well, you're going to need a fine tip marker of some kind. I use the Project Life uh, black marker journaling pen, or you can just use the Stampin' Write marker at the thin end over here. And you're going to need some scissors as well. So. With your yellow tail, you're going to uh, cut away some of it so that the tail is a little bit more shaped like a leopard's tail. So I'm just going to cut away. I showed the black lines there so you can see what part gets cut away. I'm going to cut around and then kind of make it a rounded end up here on the, the tip of the tail. Okay, there we go, and so there is your new tail. It's a little more appropriate for this guy. Um, as well, you're going to, uh, on this white piece, that's the, the white tail, we're going to turn that into uh, the part that scoops down in the front of his body here. So all I did there was cut it off about halfway and then glued this underneath, just like that. All right, so working on the body, you can start gluing down your various uh, 1 8 inch circles that you've punched out in black. On the face, on the mask part, we're going to add some, again using uh, a marker, you're going to add some pieces to this. So from about the center, you're going to do a little scoop up. They kind of look like flower stamens, that kind of thing. And then a little nub at the top when you glue your little yellow um, circles into there and draw your actual eyes, you'll get the effect that we're looking for right here. Okay, and then it's just a matter of putting them together with a dimensional with all the bo head body combinations. I'm putting a dimensional in between them there to pop it up a little bit and assemble them away. I also added, you'll see a little bit of lines up at the top here. So I hope you enjoyed this guy. And uh, if you would like to visit my website, you'll see uh, lots of other critters through the month. And thank you for watching. Bye for now.